Lord is touching someone right over here in this section. There's been kind of a pressure is the way it's coming to me on like your, like your chest and you feel pressure. And sometimes you've been doing this and it's not anything with your heart because that's what the enemy would want to put in your head but God is touching that right now and you're right over in this section over here and if you raise your hand up let God there it is right there just let the Lord release his virtue he's releasing his virtue over you there's been financial pressure financial pressure is part of the pressure of what you're feeling of the stress and as your hand is up, sir, I speak now. Let divine provision, promotion, come now because of their obedience. And let there be a release now. God said to tell you, be open for change. There's some changes that are coming. Not location, but change in what you're doing. God has something to improve you. To better you and it shall it shall be something with with even your finances you watch as a new door is about to open and God says you've you've been looking at something and considering it and then you back off from it and it's a money stream it's a, it has to do with like occupation God says move forward and when you do it you'll see the blessing will follow you thank you Lord Father, we worship you. Come on, just ask God for his goodness today. My Lord, we worship you. We worship you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just feel like the Lord is touching somebody, and you're right in this zone right here. It's almost like an arthritic I don't know what it is it's like an arthritic pain is starting to manifest in your joints and you're like man I don't know why I feel this way and that too has been stress related is that you yeah you're right in my perimeter I could feel it coming out I could feel the virtue coming out I want you to lift up your hand before the Lord God you are the one that touches this sweet one and there's a man also to my left of this over here you've been having pain up around your shoulders in your neck and it's going down in your back and God is healing you as well if you lift up your hand God is going to absolutely bless you and keep you same with you Bernice just put your hand right there and just on her yeah and you got it it's you got it thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord Thank you, Lord. I feel like there's somebody in here. You've been, uh, you're in here. You've been looking at a couple job options. And one of them is a little bit farther away by way of, of, of your drive. And one is closer. And the Lord is just telling me to tell you, it's your choice. You're asking him, God, which one? And you're basing it on too far, too close. And God is saying, it's your choice. He wants to bless what you decide. But even though the one is farther, in a shorter amount of time, by way of days, it will yield a greater blessing. Because it, you're, you're going you're gonna to go up. And I feel, I don't know, I feel like it was somebody over in this area over in here. Who would that be? I just feel like, is it you? Okay, keep your hand up. Keep your hand up. Father, we release the divine steps of God that lead you into tremendous blessing and promotion in the name of Yeshua God is saying learn quickly because what you're going to see and experience from others God's going to put on you to start your own thing and so the Lord's going to start building your revenue he's going to build your surplus your storehouse so that you can begin to branch off and do some things that you've been wanting to do for a long time on your own. So, Father, we release that. Amen. I want you to do this. Those of you that are, man, there's, uh, I hear a crying in my spirit. 
there's a woman you're watching, you're sobbing, and uh, you have, you've been overcome with incredible sorrow. And the reason being is it seems like your world is falling apart. And, and God is uh, telling me to say to you today, put your arms around yourself like this, because your world is not falling apart. God is allowing some things to be pruned. There's a difference. And you don't like the pruning. I'm not, I'm not being critical. I'm not being harsh. I'm trying to let you understand the process of what's happening. You're crying over, over a pruning process that is actually going to yield greater fruit if you will just let go and stop crying. Stop crying over, you just like spilled milk. It's okay. There's more milk in the refrigerator. Right? And so God's just trying to say, stop the crying, wipe the tears away. I, I'm speaking to you, woman. And, and here's why. Because... God is the one that's purging it so that he can begin to open something up. And I see around Thanksgiving to Christmas is the season. It's your season, but really it's God's season. And if you will just say, Lord, I cast this care. I'm not going to pick these things up. I'm not going to cry over it anymore. If you will just be in a position right now, you say, Lord, I let it go. It shall be tis the season to come into something so amazing all right and i want to tell you too part of it with you is also relationship based you know what i stopped doing <laughs> i stopped praying a long time ago about meeting this person meeting that person because when i eventually i wondered how come god you never let me meet that person and then later on in life that person something happened that they were really not a good person and so i was thanking the lord yesterday i was like thank you that i never met those people <laughs> have you ever had that? I'm not trying to be mean. It's just, I, I don't want somebody else's, you know what I mean? And so, so be careful sometimes when you're praying for divine connections. You know, just make sure you're asking God if he wants it or not, right? Amen. I hope that helped. <laughs> okay.